Bed Bath & Beyond's making a move to shut down its Harmon brand stores in an effort to conserve cash as the retailer continues on its downward trend. Is the end near for Bed Bath & Beyond? I mean, that's a very fine size of state today. Is that really in question at this point? I don't know. Well, I didn't even know. What is Harmon? We well, have to question it until it happens, I suppose. So this is a story uh, Yahoo Finance broke uh, late on Friday. So more ex- a more accelerated pace of store closings at Bed Bath & Beyond. A couple months ago, they said they would close 150 uh, stores. Uh, but now saying or telling Yahoo Finance they will close 87 more stores in addition to that 150. Plus, they're also closing 52 Harmon stores. And Julia really is, uh, is basically uh, a, a beauty products type of store where you can get mm. beauty products at a good deal. Uh, never was a big focus for the company. It was always seen as a brand that they might cut, and now they're cutting it. Why? Because they have to conserve cash at this critical point in time. So those stores, in fact, closing. Uh, we had, uh, we of course, reached out to Bed Bath Beyond for a comment. Uh, them, of course, uh, just confirming this, uh, I should say. that You see uh, Julie Strider, Bed Bath Beyond spokeswoman, telling us and explaining why they're closing these stores. And it really should not be any surprise, uh, Julie and, and Brad here. You're seeing sales really uh, take a dive, a real nosedive at Bed Bath & Beyond uh, over the past couple of decades. You can see it really falling off a the map there from 2017 right on to this present day. And now the sales declines are in fact getting worse because the inventory is not being shipped to the stores in a timely manner because of their various credit problems. Uh, and if you cannot stock your shelves, you cannot drive sales, you cannot bring in cash flow. And this eventually all just becomes a big black vortex, which brings me to my take. Here's, essentially, right now, Bed Bath Beyond is known uh, in retail as a zombie retailer. It's there. The stores are there. You can still probably go in there for now and get a towel, get a toothbrush if you need it, or some cups for your house. But by and large, uh, the inventory is unlikely to be current. And chances are, if you go back in a couple of days after your most recent visit, the shelves will probably be bare. Well, it's a question of the value experience for the consumer, too. If the consumer doesn't think that there is any value in spending time there or putting gas in the tank and spending any of that gas on your trip to Bed Bath & Beyond or even walking into the store, then that just continues on with Bed Bath & Beyond struggling to move the product that they do have in store. It's a waste of time going there. You want to get all of your shopping done in one day in this still high gas gas price environment, go to Target, go to Walmart. You can do all of your grocery shopping. And in case of Target, you can have actually just sit in your car and have the groceries brought out to you for free. So it makes a lot more sense to me than going to Bed Bath. I'm still just really enjoying yeah. zombie sauce. Yeah. We've been crushing it. we replaced the Grinch sauce with the zombie sauce. I like it. It all makes sense. It fits. All right. Coming up, everyone, there, there's zombie sauce.